tell you where the fish are. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. 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 Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Potsky Outdoors coming to you today from Southwest PA. It's our first time in Southwest PA. We're not too far from Morgantown, West Virginia and kind of in between there and, and Pittsburgh. So there's a lot of people in this area that can do these kind of pay lakes that we're at today. We're here at Seggy Lakes. There's five of them. They're stocked every week all year. The reason why we're here, it's the dead of winter. A lot of streams are closed to fishing or just not receiving in-season stockings. So a lot of guys either go to Erie to fish for steelhead or they come out here and do a little trout fishing on one of the many pay lakes that's in this region. We're here with Joey Usher of SWPA Fishing today. We're gonna to show you how easy it is to go on the bank, not have a lot of gear, real stay real simple, catch a lot of fish. We'll be back if the wind doesn't blow us away. We're dealing with about 45 mile an hour winds today. They're coming in and out. It's making fishing a little bit difficult, but we think we can still catch them. Uh, natural Deluxe. What the? It's a large amount. You got bass in here too? Yeah, yeah there's a few bass in this one. He used to stalk them back in, the, back in the 70s and 80s, I think. And I just took, but that was on a green chartreuse. Fire die mini. We're gonna bait up with uh, the pink shrimp Polsky eggs here. We're using a size 16 hook. It's about the same size as the as the egg. We'll just poke it and then roll it right up on the hook. And all that's sticking out is that little eye right there. And it hides the hook from the fish. And when they grab that, this egg's soft enough. I'll just pull it there. But it's soft enough, it'll pull right through. But it's hard enough, it stays on the hook. You don't call it soft, but satisfying for nothing. Do one more there. You just roll it right up on. Just the eyes sticking out. If you use a size 18, the whole hook will actually sit inside that egg. These are size 16s here. Uh, we're single egging off the bank. Uh, we call it single egging because you're just using one egg on a small hook. Uh, we fish directly off the end of a, a 10 to a 13 foot pole and we sit them out in the water a little bit to get just a, a tiny bit further off the bank and at least four to five feet of water. And the trout in these smaller ponds will cruise the bank because they're not familiar with their surroundings and they will, they'll just run the bank searching for food, searching for a new place to lay and they find uh, inlets like this one and they'll lay in the current. And if that's the only current in the pond, you're, you're always for sure to find some fish around the current. Uh, but we measure the depth from the bottom using uh, hemostats or an ice fishing depth finder, and it will sink the bobber three inches under the surface. So the egg is, is three inches off the bottom, and that's where your trout are cruising, especially when it's cold in, in March and February. And they'll cruise by and they'll pick that up. Later in the year, they can suspend a little bit, but most of your fish will come right there on the bottom, uh, within three inches of the bottom. And what exactly are you using right now? Uh, we're using all different kinds of eggs. Uh, we're using the, the natural deluxe. We're using the, the pink shrimp. Um, and I had some red ones out, and I actually got a piece of pink fire corn on there right now. And all those are fished under the same setup. Uh, it's a size 16 hook we usually run. If it's real clear, we'll run a size 18 on them.
bring your mirror over here to this beach. This is about the average size of the fish that they put in. Oh, they're pretty lively, especially in the cold water. Uh, you gotta hang on to them a little bit, but uh, this is pretty much your average size trout. There's some bigger. Um, you, you usually don't get much smaller than that. These are good eating size fish if you're looking to eat them too. We're gonna turn him loose, but they don't make bad table fare. And the limit here, even in the off season, you can, you can keep six fish. Oh. <laughs> He's ready to go. He's going. They know they're gonna get eaten if you put it out there. Right. He's like, now that I'm chartreuse, yeah, the fins and everything are colored up. It's just what you wanted. Yep. He shouldn't last long. It's nicer colors on that one. Been in there a while. A little small one. He don't put very many in that size. Perfect release. <laughs>